Is it costing you more to feed your chickens than it should be because of all the wasted food and all the other critters that are eating the food besides just your chickens? We've really struggled with that, but I think we have the solution. Hey, Provident Preppers, I'm Jonathan. And I'm Kyleen. And one of the really important things that we produce on our homestead are fresh chicken eggs. Because when it comes to being self-sufficient and being able to sustain life, all those garden vegetables are fantastic, but you're missing some of the protein and some of the fat. And eggs are a very valuable way to be able to produce that on your homestead. How long have we been doing chickens? Like 20 years? Years, years. years. Like yeah, 20 than, plus years, yeah. yeah. So we have learned a few things along the way. And made some mistakes. And made a lot of mistakes. Yeah. Tell me, you think we finally got this problem solved? Well, I think we did. I, it's, it's taken a while, like I said, 20 years. So hopefully it won't take you that long, but we started out with these bucket feeders. And these actually can be a nightmare. First of all, they're, they're fairly expensive and we suspend them and the chickens just make a mess. Like they just all over the place. And not only that, but then we end up having a mouse problem because the mice can get into them. And so then we're feeding a huge population of mice. And also we've had problems with all kinds of birds. Oh yeah. It was horrible. Like it was terrible. Just flocks of birds. And quite frankly, we want to be able to feed these guys for as little money as possible. That's right, and and especially during some times of the years, the sparrows and starlings and such. Uh, one day I went out there and startled them, and there was probably, and we have just a little coop for our second coop, and it's only about six feet by eight feet. But I, I counted as much, close as I could as the, all these birds streamed out. There was between probably 70 and 80 birds in that little area because they had found the feeder. Free lunch, they're coming to eat. Yeah. So he was really frustrated because we were going through so much feed, and it was being wasted, and yeah. then we decided to try this, which is all over the internet. And it's not a, not a terrible design, but it's probably not the best design. So this is just a cap on top that keeps dirt out. Not that the chickens aren't surrounded by dirt, but, and then we would fill this tube and it comes down and here's where the chickens would eat. Now, I tried cutting some little, uh, off of a plumbing part, I cut a bunch of these and I tried to glue them in. Uh, one or two of them stayed, but most of them the birds would pull them out, pop them out. And so the, the, as the birds eat, they kind of throw food around and that's just there for the mice to eat. And one, uh, the, one of the other problems was filling them. Right. Like it was right. a huge pain to fill them. Ultimately decided this just wasn't good. We, we had them strapped to the wall with these, which worked great, but ultimately we're still seeing a lot of feed wasted and the mice can still get in and the birds can still get in. So we didn't really take a big step forward with that. And we are always hesitant to spend a lot of money, right? Because money is tight and we want to make sure that anytime we spend money, it's for a really good thing. And so we were watching and trying to figure things out. Yeah. And then Jonathan came across this. Well, actually, you came across Did it. I? Yeah, it was <gasps> it you. Was me. It was it you was that me. came across this. We're showing you this because we think it's a really good tool but not because we make any money off of it. But this has turned out to be just a super amazing tool, in my opinion. Um, and, and we'll ask for your comments below if you've got some other ideas. But this has just worked out really well because what happens is the birds step up on here and it opens the feeder. They get in, they feed, they step off and it closes. So you don't have mice getting in here. You don't have birds getting in here. These are weatherproof, so they can sit out in the weather. And ours are in coops. Uh, yeah. We prefer to have it inside. But if it is outside, these are weatherproof so that you can do that without ruining your feed. When you feed or when you fill it, all you do is open this up and you dump it in. There are two sizes. There's a smaller one, but we have a lot of birds and we decided, okay, if we get the bigger one, all it means is that we have to fill it less often. And as you mentioned, there's two sizes. This is the large. The standard is a little bit smaller. This will hold about 40 pounds of feed and the smaller one will hold about 20 pounds of feed. Now they say on their website that it'll feed 12 chickens for 10 days. My experience has been we can go two weeks or more with 16 birds. 
of course, we take a few scraps out for them, and during the and summer, they're free range. yeah, they're out there free ranging. So in the summer, that feed rate goes way down as far as this feed because they're out there eating all kinds of plant life, um, digging for bugs. That's that's what they do naturally is they dig and find bugs and other things to eat. One of my big concern was, okay, chickens aren't always that smart. <laughs> And I was concerned that we wouldn't be able to train our chickens how to use this, but that went really well. Oh yeah, it went really well. And, and they've got this program set up. Uh, it's very simple. So you, on the side here, you've got two bolt holes. So when you first get this feeder, you're just going to put in a bolt in the top hole here and that just holds it open all the time. So this just sits open for a week, just like that. So the birds figure out that's where the food is. They come and eat. Of course, at this point, the mice can still get in, the birds can still get in, but this is just part of the training period. Now, after one week, you're going to put it at this level, so that, and this is where they start training. They learn that, okay, I know this is where the feed is, so they step on here, and actually, this is very entertaining when I was watching them, because it kind of freaks them out at first, you know, because at, at this point, when it's all the way open, that doesn't, that foot pedal doesn't move at all. When it's halfway, they step on it and it moves down and they, they jump off and they run around and kind of freak out. But it doesn't take them but, you know, one or two times and they go, okay, it's all right. I step on that, it goes down, they get their food and they go play. And then after that, another week, so this, the first week it's wide open, the second week it's partly open and they're learning to deal with that movement issue. And then after that, it's just like this. And then that's, that's when things get really good because the mice can't get in. And, and we do, between the cats and us, we do a pretty good job of trying to control the mice. But when there's not this readily available feed, um, it makes a huge that difference. makes a huge difference. Um, and, and in the country, we're always going to have mice, but, but they don't have free access to feed now like they did before. Yeah. And the birds, same thing. So. So let's talk a little bit about the cost. And remember, so there's two sizes though. The one that was smaller, I don't remember how much it was, but it seemed like it wasn't that much more just to get the bigger one. Um, and that's why we made that choice, but they're like $220. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. About that for the big one. The, the big small one. one's about, if you buy it off the grandpa's feeder website, it's like 149 plus you have to pay shipping. Um, and if you buy two of them, you have to pay two shipping costs. It's just the way to do it. That's where we bought it from, is from their website. You can get them on Amazon, yep. probably some other places as well, and the shipping's free, but the cost is higher. So overall, it turns out about the same, about $225 for the big one and $170 for the small one. So when we were looking at all of this and trying to decide for sure if we were willing to do that, it was ultimately the cost of feed that did it. It's like, how long would we have to have this to be able to recoup the, what we would have lost in feed cost. So ultimately we decided, you know what, as long as this is quality, and we were a little bit skeptical when we first, you know, bought it because we were thinking, well, what if it doesn't work? Because there's a lot of stuff out there that doesn't work. Yeah. But so far, like, I have no complaints. The chickens have no complaints. How about you? Right. I don't have, I, I love this thing. This is great. And it comes with a two-year warranty. No questions asked. If you don't like it, if it's not working, if it breaks, it's a two-year warranty. So that part's good. I, I haven't had any issues with this at all. It just is working extremely well. And it's so satisfying to me to know that um, I'm not feeding all the other creatures. That really uh, annoys me. I, I, you it know, really maybe it shouldn't, but, but from an engineer's standpoint, from an efficiency standpoint, it just bugged me that all these freeloaders were were uh, coming in and, and stealing all the feed. We have cut down our feed consumption probably by 30%. 30, 30 is probably conservative, probably that much or more because of all what's not getting eat, eaten by other creatures and what's ending up on the ground and wasted. Um, and, and that's important in a crisis situation because you've got to stretch those resources as far as you can. This is, I, I liken it kind of like to the garden. We, we preach about the garden and the importance of having a garden. And people tell me, well, you know, if things get bad, then I'll grow a garden. Well, you can't do that. You can't just go out and start. I mean, you can have some success, but the real success comes when you start now and you start building the soil and you start learning and making mistakes and fixing the mistakes. That's what we're doing with this as well, is we've got this up front. 
Um, we've got it now so that we can use it when we need it. It's saving money now and it will stretch our food supplies if, you know, if things get bad and we have a crisis, we can't get feed or whatever, this stretches that food supply. Yeah. And it's just a smoother transition, right? When tough, times get tough, there's a lot of stress. And if you've already implemented the garden, if you've already implemented something like this chicken feeder, it's just a smoother transition. Now, this is the latest and greatest thing that we have found and we've tried a lot, but I am positive that out there, you guys have some fabulous ideas of ways that you have come up with to do chicken feed better. So for the question of the day today, we want to know what you've done and what great ideas you have for feeding your chicken. Because obviously we've made a few mistakes. Yes. We think we've come to a good place, but maybe there's something better. So comment below and thanks for being part of the solution.